wall. Another commercial hive. I've scraped the heck out of this in the past. There you can see that frame feeder again. I've really scraped this hive before. And, uh, and yet they still continue to build this comb. These commercial hives, you can see it dark. So uh, we'll sugar shake them. I'm going to see if there's any prayer of getting these hives separated without breaking them. They're very heavy. They just glue them so tightly. Yeah. I'd have to really work on it. It came as a two deep set, already glued smack together, and the wood is deteriorated to such a point that I'm worried that if I pull it, I might end up breaking pieces of the frame of the um, frames on the inside and of the box itself on the outside. So we'll just sugar them right here. And by the way, again, this is powdered sugar, not granulated. Granulated sugar is what you mix in when you're feeding them sugar syrup. This is a powdered sugar. Getting a good dose of it in there so that it goes in between all this burr comb, which is not easy. All right, we'll just put things back in order. We had them. I think what I'll do, which I neglected to do on that last one, is I'll shake from the top as well here. Don't think it could hurt. Work on the spacing a little bit. If you uh, have uneven spacing, they'll find the ones that have too much space and they'll glue them together. A real good example is up here. If you can see how they've glued that frame together with some beeswax. And so, see that right there? So you try and get the spacing. All right. Okay, and one more frame, to, or one more. Super to put on. Try to squish a minimal amount of bees. By pushing it, I kind of slide it forward. And uh, we'll keep the propolis trap on top. Migratory top. This top it came with, just a plywood top. And that is our sugar shake.